This is Becky Burrows. We're at Reading Festival 2030, where more than 87,000 people have filled the premises for the likes of Green Day, Fall Out Boy, The Lumineers, Eminem, I Could Go On. This really is the place for breaking acts, exclusive performances, and big names. And this is my highlights package. Words to live by, I guess, just be yourself. Do you have any inspirational quotes? <laughs> oh yeah, Ooh. any any idiot can make things complicated. It takes a genius to make things simple. Albert Einstein. It's true. I right? like that. Because do you think it's okay to switch between dance, rock, indie? There's a lot of different genres yeah, going. Um, I think people should be like enticed to their own opinion on the music. Um, it doesn't matter about what you look like. As long as you enjoy it, that's all that matters. Rock on, free world. Fail to prepare. Prepare to fail. Can you define what is cool? What is cool to you? Just not giving a fuck about idiots, right? Yeah. Any any idiots. <laughs> but it's true though, like, so like when an idiot, if this is someone in front of you yeah, and they're yeah, doing yeah. that, you're just like, oh, this idiot's doing my head in. Just yeah. like, just be cool. He's yeah. the Bournemouth Buddha. He's teaching not to be affected by the material world. Yeah. But actually, I don't think that we're ready for his message. Hello, Simon. Do you have a festival tip for me? Yeah. My festival tip is don't bring your expensive iPhone 5. Take a dumb phone. <laughs> Show us your dumb phone. Yes, you do not want your expensive phone at the festival. Yes. Good idea, Simon. Thank you. Thank you. We came here as, as, as punters when we were 16, 15, yeah. and, you know, we're watching bands. We're sort of pushing through the crowd. We're pushing through the crowd trying to watch Iron Maiden when they headline whenever it was, 2004 or something like that, maybe, five, I don't know. But, um, so, I think that to think about us being up there now is pretty nuts. Pretty cool. Pretty, pretty great. We've got that nice kind of rich red result and through the end I just put like a temporary stain on which has given that nice rich copper feel to it as well. And this is the final result. Yeah. Where did you get your glasses from? I got these glasses in a vacation area of America called the Wisconsin Dells, popular in the summer and the winter. Yeah, these are mink pink. We got these in Australia. I'm obsessed. Let's check your style out. It's a nice little, it's a window to paradise, I call that. Absolutely love your style. Thank you. Um, do you want to just uh, talk us through it? Um, it's all vintage, other than my shoes. My shoes are top shop. Mm -hmm. But I have vintage Calvin Klein shorts and a vintage Boy Scout Army t-shirt that I cut up. And that's just comfortable. I just need to be comfortable on stage. One of my stylists, Jo, she did my plaits. Because you can always sleep on your sides. Yeah. So they never get messy. It does look great. I'm really impressed. <laughs> How do you, because um, we like to talk about health and well-being on our blog. We're not, we're not all about getting drunk and getting wasted. Wasted. How do you um, not let it get to you all this traveling? And... Usually, like, in, into a tour, um, I drink water all day. Um, I have tea, throat coat tea, before and after I play. And I'm not saying that's the trick to make you sing like an angel, because it doesn't really make you sing like an angel, but it, at least it helps. Um, you know, I try to eat as best as I can and not eat late and stuff like that. So. How do you do that if you're like going, on, if you're on the road all the time? Do you have somebody who like brings you food and stuff? Um, if we're on a big tour, like say, for example, we were on tour with Green Day a few years back, and they had a massive catering area, and the caterer was awesome. They were on the whole tour and everything, and so usually, but like when we're doing, you know, a place like. Like electric ballroom or what you know sometimes I'll be catering and sometimes we just have our own backstage or we just go out to eat or whatever so. has it always been the case or um, a bit naughtier in your earlier days yeah I've been I was naughtier in my early like pizza every night you know yeah it's pretty hot right it's beautiful yeah so we it felt, it YouTube, felt better than YouTube. it looked we watch YouTube footage of like cats falling over and that. You're gonna get me banned. You're gonna get all my videos banned from um, YouTube. And I'm gonna have no. Audio. Our press agent's just shaking her head because <laughs> she didn't expect the freeway kiss. <laughs> great, this is great content, guys. Carry on. Um, let's talk about your latest video, um, the the naked nurse and the, the fact that most of your videos are being banned from YouTube. And let's just talk about that. What's what's 
going on we here, guys? Fuck it. Like, it, like we, we've lost so much money through <laughs> like sponsorship and advertising. We, we nearly had like 250 grand from an alcohol company, but like your videos are too fucked up. We can't and give you any money. One video, so we we're like, yeah, fuck so it. We lost a lot of money, so we're like, fuck it. Let's just make every video stupid Basically, as shit. If, you, if, if we've shot ourselves in both feet already, fuck we it. might as well get a kick ass wheelchair. Oh, dearie me! Thank you very much. I wanted that and they couldn't. They didn't offer it on my service provider. If I get you talking about Nocculemia, God, they might spunk me. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Well, it's a good idea. I like what you did there. <laughs> okay, run in. I walk this empty street. I Oh,